Thank you for joining us today. My name is Megan and today we will be doing the Adult Take and Make Create a Shellyfish. By now you should have picked up your programming supplies, which will include a, a skein of invisible thread, a sea urchin shell, hopefully yours is in one piece, um, an air plant, a spray bottle, and a label with watering instructions. Um, you will need to have scissors to complete this task and I will show you some alternatives if you do did receive a, a, a sea urchin shell that broke. So stick around for the end of the video for that. Working carefully, you're going to unwind some of your invisible thread. Um, and what we're going to do is very carefully loop it through, through, not around, well, it is gonna be around, but like through the arms of your uh, air plant. And then once you've got it kind of looped around, uh, go ahead and tie in a knot uh, very gently um, as best as you can. Um, and we found that cutting into two parts, so that'll be for hanging and this is for looping to the shell, that works a lot easier. Next, you're going to carefully pull the thread through that top hole. If you need to adjust the size of the hole, you can use a pencil or like a tack, but apply very gentle force. The sea urchin shell is very delicate, so you don't wanna to press too much pressure on it. After that, you're just gonna kind of um, carefully use what's remaining of your thread to tie the plant around the shell. So I'm just going to loop my two threads around and then tie them off kind of underneath near where the arms of the plant are. So that way uh, the shell is adhered to the plant. Okay, by now you should have a nice delicate shelly fish um, that's nice and tied together with the invisible string. And at this point, if you are ready to just have this on display somewhere, uh, you're good to go, good to stop. Otherwise, keep watching to learn how to make it so it can hang and be a floating jellyfish. Um, I am keeping the excess thread on there just as a, uh, just for the next step. But also, if you um, notice in our instructions, we do say uh, ha if you wanted to have uh, beads or something to complete the program, this is a good point where you can add beads to give it some extra detail to make your shelly fish a little more uh, showy. Uh, so we're not going to do that, but I am going to keep that extra string on there. Okay, so to make it hanging, you're going to take another piece of that invisible thread and you're going to very carefully insert it through the top and thread it through the bottom. And then you'll just tie um, either around the shell that can make it hang a little off kilter. So what I did was I wound up just tying it um, as best as I could around uh, the plants again, adding that extra security. So the next step for hanging, you're going to loop the thread carefully through the top hole. Unfortunately, mine's covered right now. There we go. And then pull through the base where the plant is and then pull back to the top and not as close to the top as possible. Otherwise, you will have an uneven hanging mechanism. So now we have our shelly fish basically hanging. The last step is to tie a loop at the top for, for whatever you're hanging it from. All right, so for those of you who are watching past the initial instructions for, hey, my sea urchin shell broke. The basic instructions are, if you have to repair your sea urchin shell, is to use a Elmer's glue or a tacky glue, something that um, you just have on hand uh, to glue it back together. It's, ah, there's a piece of string stuck to my hand. It might ooze this kind of strange color. Um, don't worry about that. But as it dries, you should be okay to proceed. I would not recommend hanging this one. So that is the one downside. Last but not least, you'll want to uh, put your label somewhere where you will remember to see it. So we included our spray bottle so you can spray your air plants and uh, the instructions and do mind the instructions these do not go into soil um, and these just need to be in a bright airy place 
that's not directly in the sun. So your office or um, your bedroom, those will be good places for this plant. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, if you enjoyed this program, please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can always check out our upcoming programs at ppld.org uh, for more information. And you just click on the programs link. Uh, lastly, this is part of our winter adult reading program. So if you enjoyed this program and you're like, hey, I want to check out more about this winter adult reading thing, go to our website and check it out. You can still sign up. The program runs until March 31st. And you'll be able to win prizes and enjoy a month of reading. So thank you for joining us today. And here's a little guy.